the Snort Snoot. Yes, we are reading Dooley and the Snort Snoot, but we are changing the name Dooley to Will. This is a book that Mom and Nanny and her brothers used to read growing up. Will and the Snort Snoot. Yeah. There was once a family of giants. The father giant was taller than a two-story building. The mother giant was almost that tall, and they had a son named Will, who wasn't any bigger than you. Yeah. Now, while your size is just right for you, it's a bit small for a giant. Will's mother and father were worried about him. Mother said, eat your vegetables, Will, so you grow to be big and strong like your father. But it was plain to see that it was going to take an awful lot of vegetables. Will did as he was told, but nothing seemed to help. He never got any bigger. I'll always be little, said Will. He started to cry. Little or big, you're still a giant, father said. And giants don't cry. Giants are brave. It's hard to be brave when you're not very big. But father was right. Will was a giant, whatever his size. And one of the things that giants do is say... Free, buy, fall, fall. At people and scare them half out of their wits. This makes the giant feel important. And when you feel important, you feel big. So one day, Will went into the village to scare somebody. The first person Will saw was a little girl named Trina. Will stood on tiptoe to make himself as tall as he could be. He made a scowly face and he said, Free, fly, fall, fall. And Trina giggled. <laughs> I am a giant, Will declared. Not a very scary one, said Trina. Then, quite suddenly, she shouted, fee fi fo fum Will was so startled, he jumped a foot. That's the way to do it, said Trina. Some other children came over to ask what was going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're being giants, Trina said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all the children who what had been wondering, saying? they're saying, fee fi fo fum What's he saying? He's saying, huh? And Will had to admit that most of them did it better than he could. After a while, they got tired of being giants, and they went to play tag instead. Will was it most of the time. Will went into the village and played with the other children quite often after that. He enjoyed their company, but he wasn't very good at their games. When he played baseball, he was the first one out. When they ran a race, he was the last one in. And when they played hide-and-go-seek, Dooley was always the first to be found. He did the best he could, though, and it was fun, even if he didn't ever win. But every once in a while, Will would remember he was a giant, and giants like to feel important, so he would say, Be by full form. And the children would look up in their games and say, Not bad, Will. Keep trying. Who wants to play blind man's bluff? But Will couldn't help but be discouraged. <gasps> One day, their play was interrupted by an awful snarling and snorting. <laughs> From around the corner came a terrible snarly... What was it, Will? Snort snoot who eats little children for lunch. He was gnashing his teeth and thrashing his tail and breathing fire. He was a terrible sight to see. The children turned and ran with the snort snoot snarling at their heels. Poor little Trina tripped over a rock and fell down. And with two snorts and a snarl, the snort snoot leaped and caught her. He licked his lips and got ready to eat her. We've got to save Trina, shouted Will. How can we? asked the other children, quivering with fear. Will didn't know. He was just as frightened as they were. But he ran towards the snort snoot, determined to do the best he could. He looked at the snort snoot's fierce claws and shivered. He looked at the snort snoot's wicked teeth and quaked. And then he took a deep breath and stomped on the monster's tail. And the snort snoot gave a bellow and dropped Trina. He scowled a terrible scowl and growled a terrible growl and he turned and went after Will. One lunch was as good as another. He did Will instead of Trina. And Dooley started, Will started to run. <laughs> but then he remembered he was a giant and giants are brave. Giants don't run from snort snoots no matter how snarly. So Will stopped running and stood still. Screech! The snort snoot opened his mouth to gobble Will whole. And then all of a sudden Will said, Fee, fly, fall, fall. Right in the monster's face. The snort snoot was so surprised he forgot to gobble. Then he remembered and opened his mouth to swallow Will, but something remarkable had happened. Will had grown almost taller. A foot taller. A foot taller. So much the better, thought the snort snoot. He'll make a bigger lunch for me. And the snort snoot opened his mouth even wider. But then Will said, Fee, fee, fo, fum. 
and he grew another foot. The snort snoot opened his mouth as wide as he could, but Will was growing too fast. Three, said Dooley, and grew three feet. Four, said Dooley, and grew four more. No, Will. I'm sorry. <laughs> Five, said Will. Thanks, buddy. Five, said Will, and grew four more. Four, said Will, and there was no longer any doubt that Will was a giant. By the time he reached, Bomb. Will was so big he could have swallowed a snort snoot. The snort snoot, who wasn't feeling very snarly or very hungry anymore, ran and was never heard of again. Nobody knew for sure what made Will grow. His mother said it was because he ate his vegetables, and no doubt that helped. I think, said Will's father, it was because he did a very big thing. I think I just grew up because it was time to, said Will modestly. Anyway, said Trina, you were very brave. Come on, Will, let's be king of the mountain. You can be the king. The end. Yay! And that was the story of Will and the snort snoot.